Hey guys, it's the Epic Gaming Nation, and we're back again with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to basically set up a house in Subnautica. And yes, I am in creative, just so I can do this faster for you guys. So what you want to do is not be in a hostile area. And me in like a flatter area. Let's see if we can find one around here. Let's see. Um. Right here should be good. It's a nice flat area, and if you want, you can start off with a foundation. For this video, I'm going to start off with a foundation. Then you're going to want to get a multi-purpose room to sit somewhere on this foundation. Doesn't matter where. So now that you have your foundation and your multi-purpose room, you're going to want to make a hatch right that way you can get into your house and now that you have it you have no oxygen and no power so what you, to solve this problem is you go towards the top of your base or if you make a foundation you can just put the um, solar panel no not that you can put the solar panel on your foundation and it should start giving you power and then if you notice all the water and stuff is gone so now you'll have power and oxygen so as soon as you have this part of your base done and I, I kinda sound like I'm speaking really fast and I am so here's the foundation then you're going to need a multi-purpose room with a hatch, as you can see here. So this is a basic multi-purpose room house, just one, right? But you have nothing in this house, but you have power and you have oxygen. So now that you have power and oxygen, you can live in there, but you need food and you need all that stuff. And if you want to completely move out of there, and um, what you're going to want to do is when you get into here, you're going to want to um you're going to want to make a fabricator and you're going to want to put that on one of your walls that way you can have the fabricator that you normally have in your life pod in your house that way you don't have to go back to your life pod then what i suggest getting is a radio so, a radio, a fabricator, and then you want a, either a locker or a wall, lo wall locker. I kind of like the wall locker, so that's what I'm going to go with. And there you have basically some storage, your radio, and your fabricator. And if you even want to, you can get your um, med kit fabricator, but that's not necessary. Um, then once you get into there, and you found the vending machine, um, you found the vending machine parts, and the coffee vending machine parts, you're gonna want the vending machine, and I normally put it in one of these kind of like corners, because right there, each one of these little snacks gives you five food. And you get unlimited of this. So that's the cool thing about the vending machine. And then with the coffee vending machine, I'm going to put it next to the vending machine. This gives you oxygen. So say you don't have, you have a bunch of this and just a regular tank of oxygen. 
you go down and you're running out of oxygen. You can drink coffee and get some more oxygen. There's still a glitch where fish will be in your um, house. So, the basic setup that I am running with in my base is a fabricator, a radio, a wall locker. These two aren't necessary, but I like to have them since I have these uh, since I have those parts, but what you can do is you can how you have your basic base like that. That's basically your basic base that you need here. Minus these two things, so you don't really need that, but this is what you need in order to kind of live on your own. And the fabricator, if you make a grav trap. And say you don't have these parts, the uh, vending machine, the coffee vending machine, right? If you go outside with a grav trap, you can kind of find an area where there's fish near you and kind of just deploy it. And what this will do is when any fish swim nearby, as you can see, or anything, it'll grab it. So you can see there's a fish, right? And you can it makes it easier for you to kind of like grab the fish because they stay in that natural area. So I have a bladder fish. And can I grab this one? I grab the peeper. It also grabs some materials like this metal. So, if you don't have the vending machine or the coffee vending machine, I suggest getting a gravity trap, which will pull in a fish. That'll solve your food problem because all the fish that swim near it will be attracted to that as you can see then you can just grab them and um, grab them and cook them up and you'll see if they get too far they kind of break out but it'll keep them majority of the time it'll it'll keep them here so that's how I solved my food problem before I found the vending machine and coffee vending machine so there's your classic house, and that's how you build a starter house in Subnautica, and um, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.